trend line reversals. Trend line reversals can be used for day trading, swing trading, and even investing. This is a very nice tool to have in your trading bag. And that's what we're gonna learn today. Let's go look at trend line reversals. And don't forget to hit the like button down below on this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get right into trend line reversals. So I'm gonna show you my strategy for day trading. So this is a day trade that I took and I'm gonna show you how I use my strategy. So this stock started gapping up very hard, came back down and tested the support here, broke it here, and then it came back up. So my strategy is basically trend breaking. I don't even know if that's the real word for it or not. So I see a trend here of the stock going down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line somewhat like this. So that's under the trend right now, if you see what I'm saying. So I'm not gonna get into this day trade unless this stock breaks this trend right here. And once it did, I'm in at 7.05 or whatever, $7. Stock pushes up to 7.90, I'm selling, I'm selling. Not everything, just sell portions. <sighs> Just a heads up, day trading is very stressful and it can be fatal to you if you're not careful. So that's my first example of the trend line break. Let's take a look at another trend line break. So show me where you would put your trend line on this chart. Okay, this is what I would do. Put the trend line right here. The trend's going down. And if we zoom in here, you can see it's definitely, it's following the trend line, which is a very good signal that, okay, if it breaks it, it's going to reverse trend. So it finally broke the trend line down here at 249 ish. And that's when you would take your entry point. So first step, you have your entry point. Second step, before you even get in the trade, you need to know when you want to get out of the trade. If the trade turns nasty on you exit point, I would say right around 237 ish, because if it breaks that, then the trend is going back down. In this case, we had good fortune and the stock went up, but sometimes you don't have good fortune. So that's why you need your exit plan. And then I keep on selling basically until I run out of shares or it gets up to this VWAP, this top VWAP right here. This is a very good area to sell some of your shares. And then basically just keep on selling as it goes up. Or if you're, I mean, if you're happy with how much money you're making already, just go ahead and get out of the stock completely. Cause you never know when this thing is going to turn on you. Take your money and run. Now let's take a look at Ford F O R D. And so looking at this stock, where would you put your trend line? I would put mine right here, just like that. After I see three humps out of the stock, I can draw a trend line. Even two humps, you can draw a trend line. Just kind of eyeball it. That's what I do. So if we look at here closely, it is respecting the trend line. And if I widen out, you can see it actually did break the trend right here. And this is when you would want to sell some right now when it's at resistance at 727. The way that I'm looking at it, there's a 50-50 chance that this stock will break through that. And I want to collect some of my money in case it rejects it and comes back down hard. So you always want to keep putting money in your pocket as the stock keeps jacking up. It's always very helpful if you're watching multiple stocks at once. So that way you can identify humps and draw your trend line. Here we're looking at SNDL. And if you were to draw trend lines on this you would start from here and you would go upwards like this and another really good thing to look at right here is this stock had pretty hard resistance right around one dollar and thirty cents you can see the stock has been rejecting it at least four times so this stock has been marinating and it is getting ready to explode one way or the other but with the trend the odds are in your favor that the stock is going to go up this to me would be a swing trade for two or three days. And if we move ahead here, you can see it ended up breaking the 130 all the way up to 172. And then it continued to rip all the way up to $4.87. So there's a lot of things in play once the stock breaks the trend line. You're going to have buyers like me hopping on here. And then you're going to have shorts that need to get out of the stock. That's going to put more money into it. So if you guys are interested in day trading and swing trading, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also follow me on Twitter. Let's make some money.